You know, I forgot how beautiful this country can be. Right, so I had a decent ring session there and some other movements as well. As you know, I've been doing the rings for a decent amount of time now and I feel like the next movement for me to learn is the back lever. And I'm trying to hold it in like a tucked position right now, but I don't know if that's the right move or not. Like I don't know if I should try and hold it in tuck for as long as I can before I can start pushing my legs out straight or if there's some sort of um, particular strengthening I need to do of my core or something. So if any of you know that, please let me know. Either way, uh, simple plan now, shower, breakfast, work on my own Peterson Academy stuff and then lecture, simple as. Right now something you'll be seeing me do throughout this year is the Peterson Academy and I'm going to explain what that is. The Peterson Academy is something I signed up to as, as soon as I could when it launched in August and I know it has its own ambitions of hitting universities pretty hard, um, creating a dent in the, in the market of universities but for me, um, I'm just taking it as additional education. I've been a fan of Jordan Peterson for a while. I'm reading his books. I've listened to multiple of his podcasts as well as podcasts where he's a guest. For me, a lot of the courses are linking to philosophy, politics and economics, and therefore they're going to be incredibly useful to expand my mind upon the subject and um, let me see different opinions. So I'm taking it as a great opportunity to really help my own studies, really. Throughout the year, I'm going to be trying to do one of these classes every day, as well as taking the small lecture quiz after. At the moment, I'm doing five modules on the Peterson Academy. I'm doing Introduction to Nietzsche, which is by Jordan Peterson himself. The Greatest Leaders in History, which is an incredibly interesting course. <laughs> Too far, I'm gonna say it about all of them. They're all incredibly interesting. The others are Postmodern Philosophy, Political Ideologies, and the Economics of Human Flourishing. And today I actually have Politics of Development, and I think they're gonna be quite similar. So you can see where these sort of, this mixture of Peterson Academy and Loughborough University is going to really benefit me. Yeah. Right, so I just did the lecture, the first lecture of the whole year on politics of development. It seems like it could be quite an interesting course. We didn't go into much depth. We kind of just went through what the assessments are going to be and how, how it's going to be taught, a short introduction, I suppose. But there seems to be some work going on here. If you're watching this video, you may have experienced it. There was a big power cut in our lecture and now the Wi-Fi is down, meaning I can't really do what I'm planning to do. The uh, Peterson Academy that I was doing before the lecture, um, I didn't actually complete that. I got about 70% of the way through it, so I need to finish that off. But I've got some small things to do. I might research a bit of this politics of development, see if I can create a nice little plan for how the um, assessments are going to work. Maybe maybe if I can work out some sort of flashcard system I can put into place before before the real lectures start. I also need to write a, a newsletter today for, for tomorrow morning. Basically between now and eight o'clock, I've got all this time to complete that because at eight o'clock it is the start of the societies in which I am doing, drum roll please, salsa. <laughs> Actually, I actually have a tiny bit of experience in salsa. I, I know the basic steps, um, but I want to expand on it. I am very nervous about doing it. It's not my thing at all. You know, you have to put yourself in uncomfortable situations, but um, it is something I want to learn. I saw it a lot when I went traveling and it's just a way they can do it. So improvised to the music. Uh, yeah, it's something I'd like to learn. So, you know, you've got to start somewhere. You've got to start a beginner. But I have to say, I'm nervous. It's, it's, there's a difference to turning up to a new sport and turning up to, to dance for me. It's, it's completely out of my comfort zone, but we're doing it, but I'm going to be there. Right, so I had the salsa, and I have to say, I absolutely loved it. Met tons of people, such good people as well. Just such a good community there. And after we went to JC's for a nice little social, and that was, it's just stuff I didn't do last year that I really needed to do this year. Either way, it's pretty late, and I need to wake up early tomorrow morning, because I've got a lot of lectures, and I need to get a Peterson Academy session in. Doesn't mean I'm gonna be lacking on sleep, yes, but is it worth it? Yes, it is. See you tomorrow. Right, so safe to say that that morning plan did not go to plan. <laughs> yeah, because of the late night and also probably readjusting to the six o'clock wake up, I didn't get up till eight. Obviously not ideal with breakfast, um, but it's not a massive problem. Today's not a gym day anyway, because of all the lectures that I have. I have about four, some of them being two hours. 
So the reason this is not gym though is because I need to fit in the Peterson Academy around this. My plan was to wake up at six and get the Peterson Academy done. Obviously that's not going to happen. Um, I'm going to have to somehow like keep doing it throughout the day in between the lectures, but it should be fine. It should be fine. Obviously, late wake up because of the social and the social after, which was 100% worth it. I'm going to follow through with it. It was, it was great fun. But yeah, that is basically the plan for today. It is going to be uh, lectures, Peterson Academy, and then reviewing the lectures of the new topics that we'll be facing today. Well, I must say this is very, very frustrating. It happened yesterday and it's happening today. The Wi-Fi is not, it's very inconsistent. It's not working and then it is working and it's not working. It's making anything, I mean, it's not working right now, which makes anything impossible. Plus that, the weather's terrible and I think that's making the service on the phones bad. Um, and it just makes you realize how much we rely on technology in the classes. And and for me, when I'm doing all this work, it makes me realize, you know, without, without technology, <laughs> just, stuck i don't know what to do so i've just i just completed my first lecture i've got three more today um uh, all on different topics uh, one on economics of the financial system and then i've got a seminar and a lecture on contemporary debates in philosophy that's going to be interesting to see what they're about going to be interested to see what we've got to study for the upcoming year and then at, at this moment in time between the first and second lecture i wanted to start my peterson academy but i obviously can't without this connection so um wish me luck guys today has been a very frustrating day it's it's been full of lectures for a start which is fine I'm happy to attend the, le the lectures of course I attended all of them not only has it been a bloody miserable day with the weather the, the internet's been on and off all day as I said earlier and in between the lectures I just haven't been able to get stuffed up and it's frustrating obviously the morning didn't go to plan either that means this evening, gonna have to work pretty hard to catch up on the things that I wasn't able to do this morning, being the Peterson Academy, and then obviously there's some of the academic stuff today that I need to work through. The good news on the other side of this is obviously there'll be the gym session in the morning, but I don't have any lectures tomorrow. So, um, obviously I have a lot of time to catch up with the readings and do a lot of the academic work, uh, go through the structures for what I want to do for these lectures. I already know what a poster I want to do for one of my exams. So I can start working on that. Sadly, it makes today quite boring. It means for the rest of the day today, I am just going to be working here and then chilling here and then reading. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, this morning has been a lot more of a productive this morning, that's for sure. Work from the morning to the early afternoon, obviously that's where we are now, it's about two o'clock. And hey look, there's always more to do, but um, I got a lot done, that's for sure. And I, I think it makes up for what was a pretty unproductive day yesterday, whether it was my fault or not. But there's no societies for me today, um, so that means for the rest of the day, I can carry on researching the, the things I need to research about. For example, I'm preparing to do a poster in um, politics of development about sustainable development. Um, I don't know if that's going to be in week four or week 11. So I could have three months or I could just have one month. We don't know yet. So I'm preparing for that. Although I made some great progress today. Definitely got an idea of what I want to focus on. But I'm sure there'll be something going on. I know there's Champions League today, so I might go down to JC's and watch that. Or I might play some ping pong with my mates, I'm not sure. Um, but right now, after a long study session, I'm going to have a nice, peaceful walk. <laughs> So as you heard and saw earlier, obviously I went on the walk and I said, 
made a little joke about how that's a bit of a boring thing to do, but it's honestly something I try to do every now and then, a run or a walk. And the reason this is, is it just clears my mind and it's really, really beneficial. Sometimes I do it with music, sometimes I do it with a podcast, sometimes I do it with nothing. But the reason I walk today and the reason in general why I prefer a walk to a run, there's benefits to both, right? So both of them really clear my mind and I, I find that incredibly useful. But then the benefits of running is that it's uncomfortable. So it's dealing with discomfort. It's a great thing, discipline. But the benefits of a walk is that it, I can come up with new ideas. I can't really do that in a run. I'm thinking about the run. Where whilst walking, I can think of new ideas, uh, whether that be YouTube, academics, whatever. The loads of different ideas and different methods come into my mind um, on a walk. It's kind of like a shower. <laughs> and so whatever day is better suited, like I'd already got my gym session in today. So I thought, okay, well, I'll go on a walk, clear my mind, and then if any new ideas come into my head, they do. And if they don't, they don't. At least I've listened to a podcast, had a bit of a chill, clear my mind and come back and get back to whatever I'm doing. So that's it really. Uh, that's why I love to go on a walk every now and then. I go to a nice quiet spot in the university. And my recommendation to you, if you're feeling a bit stressed out at the start of the year, or I don't know, you're feeling a bit messy. I mean, everyone does, everybody does. Go on a walk and clear your mind. It's as simple as that really. And I promise you it will help. But yeah, for me for the rest of the day, it's gonna be a little bit further studying and then mainly just chilling and getting so much needed sleep. See you tomorrow. Right, hello everybody, welcome to Thursday. Let's set out the plan for the day. Obviously we've got the gym session done, uh, starting to get a bit more used to that wake up now. Not to say that it's easy, it's obviously not that easy to wake up at that time, but um, once you get into the routine of it, it certainly helps. Then for the rest of today, we are back to some lectures today. I've got two two hour lectures, but they don't start until 12. I've got one at 12 till two and then four till six. And that is frustrating because my beloved team, Tottenham, we're playing Ferris Avaros in the Europa League today at 5.45, so I'm gonna to have to miss the start of that because I'm also gonna to have to eat after. I mean, that's kind of important, but I'll keep up to date with it and then probably watch the second half. But despite a productive day yesterday, I still have some work to do before 12 today. And then the, between the two lectures, I've got some questions to do on the politics of development, but um, I think I'll probably have to continue with the Peter and Academy. I can't see myself finishing that in time. Either way, whatever's left over after, after the Tottenham game, um, I'll finish off this evening. It's quite a, quite a simple routine today, quite relaxed. But I do have a question for all of you watching. Obviously, it's Thursday now, we're get, starting to get near the end of the week. You can see how my days are going to be quite repetitive, even if I am being a bit more social this year and maybe some different events will occur. The days are very repetitive. That is, that is the story of how I spend my university life. If there's any improvements you want me to make to this weekly vlog, if there's any segments you want me to talk about, or even if you think it's better to scrap it because of how repetitive it is, Basically, I want to know if you're finding it boring or interesting, so please let me know because that would be incredibly helpful. Right, hello, I'm watching the Tottenham game right now, second half, we're 1-0 up. I don't know if it's going to stay that way, by the time this video comes out, obviously, you would have known the result, but this really should be a win, really should continue to be a win. Either way, I thought I'd do my little uh, like summary of the day today. Obviously, today's been a pretty good day. I had four hours of lectures, got some work done this morning, uh, made some further good progress on the politics of development poster. Um, I have had a bit of a worry today, and uh, once again, I'm going to bring this up. I am worried that this weekly vlog is going to be quite boring, you know, gym in the morning, study during the day, chill slash socialise in the evening. It is going to be that same system every day, but hey, if you guys are enjoying it, then you're enjoying it. Uh, tomorrow I've got no lectures again, which is great, so once again it allows me to, I'll probably get a gym session in, then a library session, and it'll be that similar sort of system again. And then tomorrow evening I've got a social with the debating society, so that's going to be pretty good to go to. As for the rest of today, uh, hopefully watch Tottenham follow through with this result. 
And then, you know, usual stuff, shower. Um, I, I need to finish off the rest of that Peterson Academy lecture. But apart from that, it will just be a nice chill, a bit of a read, some watch some YouTube videos and get some well needed sleep again. And then the same system tomorrow. Right, so just had another lovely, peaceful walk. And on the walk, I did think, obviously coming back into the routine of trying to be a little bit more productive, the thought always comes about, what is the point of this? Why am I here? Why am I doing this? Why am I here at university, that is? It's simply not just to get a grade and to get a job. It's, it's much more than that. I said in a previous video, university is a crucial time to to learn what you want to do. Take it as a crucial time to learn what you want to do in your life. But it's also a massive time, a massive opportunity of self-development at a crucial age as well. And not just not just development in different particular things such as uh, relationships or, or fitness or intelligence. It's the whole development of the self, the whole self-growth. I know that sounds a bit corny, but it's, it's true. And over time, there's been a slow realisation of that point to me. You know, university is definitely worth it. University has its place if you spend your time wisely. And so that's exactly what I'm trying to do and trying to fulfil. And that brings us to an end of this week's vlog. So I hope you've enjoyed watching. I hope it hasn't been too boring and too repetitive. If that has been the case, then I expect it's going to be like that for the rest of the year. So maybe I'll have to make some new plans if that is the case. But if you've enjoyed it, then please let me know. I look forward to seeing you all next week. Goodbye.